Hi guys, this is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Today I'm working on a hard drive that most likely has some platter damage on it. All right, so a client sent me both hard drives, uh, the problematic one and the donor, which is uh, really good because that drive I actually didn't have that many off of. And uh, having a donor for it helps quite a lot um, with what we're about to do. Uh, the drive requires T6 uh, screwdriver in order to uh, get it all opened up. And most likely discs will have to come out to be inspected. Unless we see something very, very bad right away, I would usually like to confirm that the situation is bad. Uh, the reason I'm saying that this drive most likely has platter damage is because uh, when I powered it up, it sounded pretty uh, dreadful. The noises that it's making were pretty nasty. So the first point of checking is the um, filter. And if I look underneath the scope, I'm not spotting any um, contamination, which is great really good I went ahead and picked up this thing here it's got a green light and the green light will help us spot any type of uh, imperfections on disk surfaces if there are any Yeah, the drive does have quite a bit of contamination on the inside. That is pretty visible with this light. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it is definitely there. And um, to move forward, we'll have to get this unit disassembled fully. I need to swap out the uh, the extractor to a two and a half inch version. The bottom surface looks much better. And for the first disc, Yeah, there's quite a bit of contamination on this surface as well. And I wonder if you guys can see it.
see that dusting right there? That's the top surface. Okay, so you can see how much pitting is on there. Okay. I don't see any ring, rings, so after washing this out, uh, hopefully we can still get something going here. Um, but this is what the, what the other surface looks like. Let me just settle it down. That second surface looks pretty good to me. So this is the inspection. Uh, with discs loaded up, I'm gonna have to wash them out. And once they're cleaned, I'm gonna put them back in. Uh, probably gonna use the donor's case just because this case may also be um, contaminated. And I wouldn't wanna take a chance on it just, uh, just because it's gonna contaminate further. We don't want that. Um, and yeah, and hopefully the drive will be able to get booted up after and uh, give us some data. But before that takes place, I have to prep uh, the donor chassis for the swap. So head assembly is going to be used from the donor and uh, um, the, uh, the chassis is going to be used from the donor. PCB and discs are obviously going to be coming from the patient. That's about it. This chassis uh, is now ready. This is a donor chassis. And uh, this chassis is no longer any use to us. The only thing we need to uh, keep from it is the PCB because this PCB is from our patient. I'm gonna put the donor lid on there uh, and the purpose of that is because the lid is not contaminated on the donor and it could be contaminated on the patient and uh, not to carry the contamination over it's just the easiest way to use that just gonna put in the last screw all right so this is the patient's PCB this is the donor uh, lid donor chassis patient splatters donor heads this is the uh, chassis and the lid from the patient. This is the type of uh, serial number that we're going to be seeking, ending again with 9FCS once, uh, once we connect this to the PC3000 complex and uh, enter the utility for this specific hard drive. So let me just go over to my PC3000 window here, channel 1. Um, uh, SATA 1, leave this piece here, utility selection, let me put a mic right on it.
No nasty sounds. The Shiba. Look at this, 9F CS. This right here is the patient drive. And that right there is a healthy ID for that same drive. And this, when we go into sector edit, is the proof that the drive can't read. <laughs> <laughs> the reason it can't read um, because it's in techno mode techno off sector edit we can read yay look at that look at this this is the prettiest thing I've ever seen today I have um, I have no more empty um, SATA slots on there so I'm just going to image it directly to um, a USB 3.0 drive, hook that up. Well, this just made my day, 5666 to USB 1, 1 terabyte Toshiba. I don't see it connected yet there we go and there's the drive we're going to image to so SATA1 is our source make a copy uh, USB Toshiba is the only drive that I have connected right now these two passports is something else um, select uh, sure whatever and um, as just part of the demonstration I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go ahead and build head map. That's the first thing uh, that gets done on the drive. I would be really happy if all heads could read, but even if they don't, I'm really happy that the noises that this drive is making are no longer there. Because uh, honestly, I would have powered it up for you, but it just could have been making the problem way worse than. Uh, what we got it with what do you know let's go um, refresh all right so our MFT record is uh, 516 megabytes uh, scan chains. If you found this video because your drive is making really weird noises uh, and you want your data back, uh, do not turn it on. Do not turn on the drive any further. You're only going to be making more damage. And if the drive uh, contains stuff that you need to have back, don't open it up. And while I was giving you the speech, we were able to capture the entire catalog for the exception of few sectors which I'm gonna completely ignore I'm not gonna push the drive to read them out even though I could but I'm not going to the drive needs some rest let's go ahead and scan the MFT now but only working with the copy thank you very much for watching this episode if uh, you're subscribed to this I'm happy to see you here again Thank you for all of your support and uh, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in data recovery, hit the subscribe button and notification button to know when the next video hits the channel up. That's pretty much it for the day. I'm gonna uh, sit here and watch paint dry as this process is moving on and hopefully um, in a day or so we'll have some great news for uh, the client who sent this drive in. Thank you for sending it in because I know you sent it in because you watched the video on previous recovery that I made. Thank you so much. See you next time.